can't be identical if I move my slider you won't see any 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 difference any animation you want I want to jump right over here well by the way there's a little tip if you uh, play with these triangles you can see that you can directly jump between the keyframes you don't have to manually slide it so let's go it over here uh, now it's over here I want to make some changes I make sure if I click it and it's selected I go back to my layer style and any changes now I will be doing in this panel is actually being recorded in this little keyframe yes this little keyframe is very helpful and very sharp it's recording everything you do go back to stroke and what I'm going to do right now is maybe change the color to somewhere like this so we can uh, see a little effects going on okay and okay and let's test if we are successful oh yes we are successful now what I'm going to do next is like on frame 20 that's not frame 20 yards that's frame 22 seconds and 20 frames whatever what I'm going to do is get another keyframe here now we have three little keyframes and this keyframe is selected and I go back to my layer style stroke and there and I make sure that I do this white so we don't see any tints or if you see we have a little blur around here so if I go white I don't see anything because we can't go like beyond one and stuff so that's there this has been this setting has now been locked in this little triangle okay so we go okay and now what we have is a little little animation that goes like this we can maybe adjust the background color it's like uh, mm, maybe okay maybe if it's helpful or not let's see there for now I'm going to keep it this simple we have uh, just taken a little uh, view little overview of what can be done in Photoshop CS5 it's a little uh, basic tutorial we can now next time we can move on to more complicated layers more complicated timeline and we can now move okay by the way if you would like to play it over here you can just press spacebar to see what is going to happen okay now there's a little uh, glitch around here this what we actually wanted was to have this fade away it's not fading away it's white because we kept it that way so what we can do is we can like of course definitely we can tweak it and what I would do is change the color to this that's it and if you would like we can also do a little trick over here mm, I don't know if it will work but I would like a color of this to change let's see if this color overlapping works and what we can do with this and maybe do something like this let's see I don't know what how it works yeah it works nice it's changed to this and this that's fancy okay. if you feel that this is too slow or this is too dumb you can always okay that's bad you can always like you can always do this okay I'll tell you what I'm doing you need to select all of these this is similarly uh, working as it works in After Effects what it does is you select all the keyframes these could be 5 7 8 10 whatever press the alt key and like drag them and so it will equally scale the animation down let's see we can keep it to one second there so now we go and it goes a little faster there it goes away and what we will be doing is now we need to export it out to some format that we could I will just do a little quickie because we are going beyond the time limits export I have gone to file menu export and we need render video right here when we click we have this fancy little dialog box with lots of information what we need to do right here is let's say glow style title I would like to keep those underscores it's like helpful dot move select folder it says to select on uh, some desktop it will go right to my desktop okay fine on um, what else would I need to do okay here we have QuickTime and FLB you can make an FLB QuickTime AVI DB stream image sequence MPEG4 it's up to you settings settings for each thing you have over here settings for quality I would like it to be animation maybe it will reduce the size a bit and I will keep the quality to best that way mm, rest is same and it says keyframes uh, fine frame rate current we keep the document current rate that is 30 okay we don't have any sound so it's disabled we don't need to worry about it okay 
if you need in case you want to make an image sequence out of this flow style what you could do is of course select this radio button select your type of image file you want and then you can play around with the quality settings we don't need this we don't need to worry about this quick time support it to fine and let's see what else we need document size is 600 by 400 the same i want it if you are going for tv or something you need to make sure you have the compliant the uh, matching or the uh, what do we say that okay the matching parameters we need currently selected frames that's fine we need 0 to 149 and that's my work uh, work area bar right here if i like uh, chop this down it can move till here and only render this much frames we don't need any alpha channel that's fine we need to press the render button and render is my music doing something it didn't do anything file export i don't know why it didn't do anything okay let's do the style mm, i don't know there's something wrong dot move to and we do have selected desktop that shouldn't be a botheration and best i don't know what it do hello mr it's to be animation okay fine and okay and okay should do it i don't need none thank you so much and that should be it and please render it for me well i think it has rendered it out let's go and check computer desktop and let's see if we have something named as style dot move there it is yo let's double click and see if we have something in it okay there we have it and let's put the play button and we have a pretty decent movie there uh, of course we did not chop up the end frames you could have done that and that's fancy so there you have a euro style movie with the move nice quality you can close down this and you can just like if i would like to keep my frames over here my animation is ending here 10 frames so this is this is the highlight part that's going to be rendered i hope you learned something out of this little little tutorial about animation in adobe photoshop cs5 thank you so much for watching